So how has season been going? Talk to me a little bit about that. You guys are a few tournaments in. You're about to host the WT Fall Invitational next week. Yeah, I mean, the fall's a whirlwind for us because we start competing, I mean, 10 days after we're allowed to have practice and we just go, go, go. So we've had two events. The girls won one by about a million strokes. They played great. Um, second one was really strong field. Uh, a lot of the national championship teams were there and we finished eighth, which was a little disappointing, but it was great to highlight some things that we need to work on in September because mm -hmm. we have until May yeah. to get ready for postseason. So we did a lot of short game this week after our performance at that tournament. I was actually talking to Coach Ochoa the other day about how golf is unique in that your season basically spans throughout the entire year. You have a little bit of a break, mm -hmm. but what does that training look like? Well, we play a ton, mm -hmm. like when we're in season, mm -hmm. during off season, which starts the 1st of November for us, mm -hmm. and then it'll be through January when we're not traveling. Uh, we do a lot of one-on-one -on -one practices and really try to figure out the little things that'll make us better. That's awesome. You've been here since 2005, seen a lot of success. You've coached a lot of girls and you've watched <laughs> the program grow and you've watched, honestly, the campus grow as well. What is something that you've learned throughout your time here? Oh my goodness, when I first started coaching, I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, most of the time I feel like none of us really know what we're doing. We're just trying to figure it out. Yeah, so. I mean, when we look way back at that, I got hired and I went into Ed Harris's office. We had one coach for the men and the women. He's like, hey, do you, we're gonna split the programs. Brad resigned, he's gonna take a different job. Do you wanna coach the women? Mm -hmm. And it was my team. I didn't even have my undergraduate degree yet. Like it was the girls, like I was student teaching that fall and coaching. And so I wasn't a very good coach at first. I mean, two of the girls on the team were related to me. My cousin was on the team and my sister. Wow. So it was really a family affair. And I look <laughs> back and sometimes we'll have alums come and they'll tell the girls, oh my gosh, coach is such a better coach now. Aww. Like she didn't know what she was doing, which was so true. But I learned so much from um, watching other coaches and reaching out and getting advice. and. I'm a pretty prolific reader, so mm -hmm. I've read so many books on not even just like swing and mechanics and things like that, but the psychology of it. Yeah. Really every coach should be a psychologist, I think. It would really help us out, at least on the golf course side. Yeah. Maybe some pitchers, it would help yeah. them in baseball as well. What's your favorite book that you've read? Oh, it'd probably have to be Mindset by Carol Dweck. Okay, I think I've read that actually. Is that the growth mindset? Yes, the, yes that one, that one's very impactful. Yeah, and then as good. far as like golf psychology, I like um, Flow by okay. Dr. Gio Valiente. He teaches at Rollins and is the golf psychologist of a lot of guys on tour and I really like his stuff. Interesting. Yeah. Have you always known that you wanted to be a golf coach or was it something that kind of just <laughs> happened? I mean, it sounds like you didn't have your undergraduates yet and you were thrown out there, so. Well, truthfully, I mean, when people ask me what I wanted to be in college, I'd say a mom, okay. which I, I mean. Everybody And wants. I'm a little bit yeah. of a feminist as well, so it's kind of funny to say that, but um, now I just have my own kids and I have tons of other kids. One of my favorite things about coaching is getting to mentor them in such a transformational stage from 18 to 22 years old and get to see their growth and lead them through that time. When you're not on the golf course, where can we catch Coach Jameson? What is she doing on her free time? <laughs> I'm probably driving carpool. Because <laughs> <laughs> you have two kiddos, right? Yeah, three okay. kids. Three um, kids. But I do like to do a lot of things outside, so you don't see me just sitting at an mm -hmm. office desk very much. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times before practice, I try to get there or stay after for girls that need to talk or you know, need a little extra help. So I'm at the golf course a lot. Mm -hmm. And when I'm not with, at the course, I'm with my family. Awesome. Now, what do you do with your family? Do you go on vacations, trips? Do your kids play sports as well? Um, yeah, our high school son plays golf. My daughter awesome. dances and our youngest is doing golf and football. And um, we are outdoor degenerates during my vacation times. And we do a lot of backpacking, fly fishing, we ski so many weekends during the year when we're not traveling for golf. So awesome. I enjoy being outside. That is way cool. I, I've always wanted, I've never gone skiing before. So I've always wanted to go. I've heard it's you can hard go. though. It's so much fun. No, it's not it's hard. Not. I've heard it's, it's like humbling. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's humbling, but it's like anything. If you stick with it, you can do it. Mm -hmm. 
Have Have you been skiing for quite some time now, or? I don't remember not skiing. Okay, so you yeah. grew up skiing. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I mean, my kids want to be on the ski team. Like, it's a really mm -hmm. large part of our life. Wow. That's, that's yeah. really cool. We're as close as we can get to the mountains, but still be in Texas. Now, wh <laughs> which place do you go to ski? Um, we ski Wolf Creek, mostly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fun. So, yeah. well, I'm going to go there. I'll need to plan yes. a trip. I can probably even outfit you. I have yeah. all this stuff. Extra skis. Well, you're I mean, always I have way too many so skis. Cute. <laughs> so, I bet you look great on the slopes, too. You're rocking the cute ski oh, jackets. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any tips for skiing? Don't quit after three days. If you make it to day three, either skiing or snowboarding, you'll be hooked for life. Okay. There you go. There you go. I'll remember that when I take the ski classes because I've heard some people are like on the first day of ski classes. They're like, oh, And just no. splurge for a private lesson. Okay. Okay. You'll learn so much more quickly. You'll like any sport. I mean, okay. if you're first a private, mm -hmm. the coaching so much better. Awesome. Well, I'll have to, I'll have to do that. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, yes. Thanks for having cheers us. Cheers to an awesome yeah. season of golf. It's going to be great. <laughs>